It's me, Erin. Welcome to my channel, Erin in Wonderland. This is Tree Trunks. She's like such a sweet little thing. Um, today, we're gonna take it kind of like serious. I'm gonna start a series on mental health. Um, it's something that I'm really passionate about and really care about, and I also have a degree in neuroscience. So I kind of just wanted to share with you guys a bit about like my story as well as um, maybe um, have you guys share with me some of your stories. So we'll just start off pretty basic. I just wanted to basically touch on the fact that anxiety is normal. It's a normal part of life. It's something that everyone experiences to a certain degree and it actually keeps us safe. So back in the day, you know, when we were um, primitive people and lived like in the forest, we needed to have anxiety to kind of like alert us of our outside surroundings. Like, oh, if you hear a tiger or something, you're like, ah, but now you still have that primitive part of your brain and humans are kind of, um, in like a transitional period because you still have that primitive part of your brain and it causes you to have these flight, fight or flight reactions in very like trivial situations. Like for instance, like you have to give a presentation and you have the same internal reaction as if like a tiger is chasing you. That's pretty anxiety inducing. So anxiety in general is normal. Everyone experiences it, but then there's actual clinical anxiety and that's where it becomes a problem so clinical anxiety happens whenever you're experiencing it um like way more often than usual and to like a crazier degree and you develop coping mechanisms to deal with your anxieties which some can be healthy some can be non-healthy a lot of times people will wait until their anxiety is so bad that um, it's like debilitating. It's affecting their everyday life. They're, you know, um, having panic attacks or like having bouts of depression. And a lot of times it's not like too late, but it's hard to come back from that point. It's hard to feel like there's hope. So one of the main takeaways from this video is don't be afraid to talk to people about it. Like that's a big thing. I know I've struggled a lot with anxiety and depression in my life and I didn't even acknowledge it until like my mid twenties. And when I started talking about it, people were receptive to it and other people started to open up to me about their stories. And that's kind of why I wanted to do videos like this because this is something I really care about. And um, I just wanted to kind of like put out there that like everybody struggles. Um, maybe if you're dealing with actual clinical anxiety and you try to open up to people, it might be hard because more often than not, people who are not struggling with clinical anxiety cannot understand how you feel. And it might feel as if they like invalidate your feelings or kind of just like tell you to get over it or just relax, that kind of thing. So um, don't be put off by that. Like seek help if you feel like you need it. Um, I know for me personally, um, I had dealt with, I didn't know what to call it or to put a label on it, but I had dealt with anxiety and depression from the time I was like an early adolescent. The, I guess like the takeaway from this video is don't be afraid to talk to people about what you're going through. There's everyone, especially now with how things are, like everyone is going through something. So just talk to people, talk to your friends. Um, I feel like your friends are someone you can start to talk to like easily about this, um, especially if you're younger because I remember being like a teenager and having like the best friendships I ever had. So talk to your friends. Um, maybe, you know, if you go to the doctor, have like a private conversation with your doctor, they're there to help you, you know? Um, and it, it's not just um, like, oh, maybe get on medication or something. There's lots of options. You can therapy, um, even just being aware of what's going on with you and like having other people be aware and maybe more sensitive to you is a big deal. The main takeaway from this is don't feel like you're alone. Uh, make sure that you reach out, talk to people, reach out to us, leave a comment with anything that you're going through or questions that you have. If you don't feel comfortable, send us an email, erinandwonderlandyt at gmail.com. Um, we would just you know, love to keep this conversation open. I wanna continue doing a series about mental health. Um, so yeah, and also don't forget to stay weird you guys because 